Hey, I'm Matt Minnick and this is Bengals Chalk Talk. Grab a Gansett and pull up a chair. We are going to look at the Bengals pass game, or pass defense rather, against the Indianapolis Colts. This is an area where they, they had some problems, particularly in the second quarter. All right, that's kind of when the wheels fell off. Uh, now, a lot of a lot of people are kind of talking like, oh, well, they, they played good for one quarter only. Uh, and that's not true. I mean, uh, honestly, the the offense uh, played well throughout the game. They played particularly well in the first quarter. Uh, but then they just had some things happen in the second half that didn't allow them to, to finish drives. The defense played pretty well in the second half of this game. They just played really bad in this second quarter. So we're going to take a look. This is the first play we're looking at. The first play of the second quarter. Actually, second play of the second quarter. Uh, it is second and 10, and they're in man coverage. So the first thing we'll look at is the line. All right, not, you know, getting a little bit of push. Not really making Philip Rivers nervous at all here, though, right? So they're in man coverage. And you see we got Von Bell here. He's going to run out with the running back. Where right, we have a tight end and a wing. Okay, so we know everybody else is a man, right? So it's got to be Pratt. And it's got to be Darius Phillips here, all right? And what happens, the inside go guy keeps going vertical. Pratt touches him, right? And then he kind of lets him go. And he jumps that underneath route. But look, I mean, it, it's got to be Pratt on the tight end and Phillips in the wing. They both jump the wing on the shorter route. And that's how they give up the first down as we go to the wide. Big space there. And Jesse Bates brings him down for the tackle, but he gets the chains moving, gets them out of a, a backed up situation. All right, now I kept hearing people talk about they shouldn't be playing zone. They're getting they're getting torched in zone. Don't play zone when you're ahead. You know, blitz, play man. And really everybody plays zone when they're ahead. Like that's what you're supposed to do. And the reason is because it's a lot harder for a team to score in one play in zone. All right, so we, we just saw them get beat in man in the previous play. They're gonna get beat in man again here. All right, it's down here. We got Darius Phillips trying to cover the tight end. I don't know why he turns his hips to the inside. He shouldn't be that worried about that guy. He's got a linebacker helping him inside as well. And that allows the guy to get to the outside and he's not in position to make a play on the ball. All right, so there you go. Beating man coverage. Again, they're moving the chains in man coverage. Bengals have problems with, with tight ends. and. You know, it, it, a lot of the times it was the defensive back cover the tight ends, and they had problems. But we see with uh, Logan Wilson, who seems to be probably the better matchup that they have on tight ends. That was something that hurt them a few times in this game. We're going to go a few plays later. Actually, this is just the very next play. And that's the deep ball. I mean, that was the killer. That one hurt. It put them in scoring position, the Colts for the first time in this game. All right, so we've got Darius Phillips and we got Von Bell here. And Phillips stops a little bit short. Now it looks like it's cover four, but when this guy breaks out, he reacts to it and stops dropping back. I can understand flipping his hips, but he's gonna keep going back because he's really gonna help out Von Bell here. Because again, it does look more like a cover four look than a cover two look to me. I'm not sure what the rules are for what point you match up on guys. You can see the safety up top, matching up on the dig route as that breaks off. So I'm not exactly sure what the rules are for that. But I think a little bit of the blame's gotta go on Phillips here. And obviously Von Bell as well. Look, we knew this, all right? We knew this. When they brought in Von Bell, we knew that he was very good in the box, that he was very good in run defense. A lot of the things that they really want to do with that strong safety position that they were doing with Sean Williams last year. He's good at that stuff. He is not a very good deep field player. He's not a very good man player. And, you know, we're we're seeing him be, get beat in this game. Like, you shouldn't be surprised. These are not things that this guy does very well. All right, so they ended up scoring there on a Trey Burton zone read play, which, whatever, a guy that big runs the zone read on the one-yard line, they're probably going to score. you kind got to count your losses at that point, right? And, uh, you know, then the, the Colts get the ball back. Uh, after a field goal drive by the Bengals. First and second down in completions. This is third and 10. Chance to get off the field for the Bengals. Playing zone. And look, 
Phillips took a lot of heat in this game, but man, LaShawn, LaShawn Sims had some problems too. And that's LaShawn Sims right there. I mean, this is a corner. Read the quarterback. Man, you gotta be in a better position to make a play than that in the underneath zone. Okay, they're dropping off. He should be dropping off in the underneath zone too about here. He's in about the right spot. But just be able to react. Read the quarterback and react a little bit better. I mean, they've really got Logan Wilson flying back here in, the, in this Tampa 2 sort of look. I'd really like to see him be able to react up to that too. He's not able to because of the way he's running. I, I don't know if he's being coached to do that. Um, you know, to stay under that guy or if that's something he's doing. I would definitely like to see him be able to, to respond to that a little bit quicker as well. But there you go. All right, so we talk about you can get beat real quick in man. Here they are getting beat real quick in man. All right, the Bengals are in man. They're in cover one. The Colts are going to just sneak this running back out on the wheel, and the Bengals aren't covering him. Okay, so this is a miscommunication. Now look, they've got they're in a five-man front here, all right, with Logan Wilson as well. So look right away, the running back's here, and he flips. Now, if Akeem Davis Gaither thought he was covering him, he'd probably be lined up right here. Also, look at Akeem Davis Gaither trying to communicate. I believe it's Andrew Brown that should be covering this guy, right? Which, hey, was fine right away, right? Right now, Logan, Williams, uh, Logan Wilson, blitz peel on this. That, that's cool, that works, all right? This, not a great matchup, right? And it's not gonna happen. So that's what happens there, all right? Miscommunication, not talking. He runs instead of covering. And that's, that's a real danger of man, that somebody slips or somebody just communicates, something gets messed up and nobody's covering that guy, all right? We see that type of thing happen all the time. Now two plays later, all right? We're down at the goal line here. All right, they got backed up. After, after a penalty on a, on a touchdown that was obviously called back, all right? What would we get, all right? We got we to gotta look here. We're, we're sending two guys vertical here, all right? The corner and the safety both feel the vertical press. They're backing up. They're backing up. And the corner's got to come off here when this guy breaks in the out, and he does not. Wide open tight end. And this is actually cover two, man. This is about the strongest pass defense you can play, right? Sometimes it's called man under, right? You play, you play man underneath, you got two guys up top, super safe, right? The problem with it is running quarterbacks. You're not worried about that when you're playing Phillip Rivers though, all right? And we can see it's man, right? As, as this play breaks, right, we'll, we'll look up top. Man, getting man on the back, all right? We're gonna see this guy release to the flat. He's trying to get around there. He's a little slow to it though, right? We're gonna see down here and here. All right, he's trying to run with him. He's a man. William Jackson, one of the best players on the team, all right? Excellent man player, right? He all of a sudden looks like he's playing cover two or something, right? He comes off and he's looking, but look, everybody else is playing man. Right, so something's messed up. Something's not communicated right. And there you go, there's a hole, there's an opening, and that's third and seven, and now it's first and 10. All right, so now we're gonna take a look at a four play sequence here to end the half. All right, first of all, we've got cover two. We've got LaShawn Sims over there. And look, man, he's, I'm, I'm actually fine with Sean Williams here. He's playing his deep half, he gets back there, he's playing his deep half. He's where he needs to be on this thing, he's over the top, right? But LaShawn well, Sims, keep dropping, keep gaining depth, get underneath that. All right, don't be in that little no man's area. All right, that little hesitation that creates an opening. All right, that is a weakness, that is a soft spot in cover two, and they went after this a few times. But you're not in a great spot there either. All right, obviously they need to get some pressure. They're only sending three guys, nobody's getting there. Look, it doesn't matter if you send three guys, four guys. Four guys weren't getting there either, so they're playing two extra. 
I got no problem with that. Right? Because the forecasts weren't getting there anyway. Who else is rushing in the in the inside other than Gino with, with Sam Hubbard out? Okay, so next play, all right, so they get that, they move the chains, now it's first and 10, okay? Now, we're gonna send some heat. We're gonna send a little bit of pressure here, right? So we'll take a look, we're showing that double A gap, and we're sending some heat, all right? We're getting in there a little bit, right? Forces the pass to come out a little faster. Now, as we watch here, we got Mackenzie Alexander in coverage. Look, man is hard. Man is really, really hard. And there are seams, there are openings, right? Get like a little bit of a push, a little bit off balance there, and that creates an opening. And if there wasn't pressure, that could have been trouble. But there was, so the pass wasn't on target, right? So the pass wasn't there. Give him time to recover. But that could have been trouble, right? How about this blitz? On the next down, second down, right? We're showing double A gap again. And there comes Jesse Bates, right? We're going all out. Going all out here. Look, Sean Williams, right? He's that, that blitz peel guy like I talk about here, right? He's showing, he's showing, he's showing. Back goes, he's matched up with him. They want to run a tailback screen and it's not there. If Sean Williams is there, they're sending the heat. That's why he's got to throw it at the running back's feet. Okay. Now, you can't blitz on every down though, right? Eventually, they're going to they're gonna take advantage of you. They're going to get after that. They really need to figure out, they need to be able to put more pressure on the quarterback with a four-man rush and be able to play uh, you know, be able to play coverage here. Third down, sending four, and they're actually getting a little bit of pressure there, right? Getting in on that. Ball's completed anyway. Good ball, right? And look, I've been I've been critical of Sims. This is pretty good, right? Like he's right where he should be. I don't like where his eyes are though. Okay, when your eyes, you know, you look back for the ball, he's got room to run away from you, from you. And if they're locking that thing out, you know, it, it's just a bad spot to be in. And look, he kind of runs past the ball as a result because he's not playing the man. So look, you're man to man, you're man to man. There's only certain situations that you have to really earn where you can look for the ball when you're playing man to man. And he's not in that spot. So honestly, like everything with his feet, everything in the beginning of the route, it's not bad coverage. He's just got to react and have a little bit better ball reaction, ball skill at the end, really reading uh, what they're giving him. But look, here's what's going on, in my opinion, with Darius Phillips and LaShawn Sims. They know they don't have a cornerback too. Phillips struggled in other games as well. I've been saying this is the Browns game. He was a step behind in everything. Might be because he's injured. I don't know. All right, I'm not a, I'm not a doctor. I haven't looked at him, but, uh, cause I, but I know he's a little bit banged up. And I wanted to see more more of Sims, but what we've seen hasn't been very good. So I think right now they're trying to use both of them to, to make a franking corner to try and fill it in. You know, like maybe it's hey, we can't get we can't get 50 plays out of out of either one of these guys. Can we get 25 good plays out of each of them and create a corner in that way? I think that's what they're trying to do. It makes sense to me that they would try to do that. But it's just not working because <laughs> neither one of them is uh, getting it done. They just don't have the guy with Trey Wayne's. Uh, Bengals had a good draft this year and they're getting some production out of a lot of these guys already. And look, they, they didn't do a great job of, of getting after Rivers today, but this is a pretty good play by Khalid Kareem who's getting some reps here and there, kind of getting worked in and probably will be getting some more action soon. But look, as he's coming in here, Probably getting some more action soon. Look, he's coming in and he is trying to get there. He is trying, he's reaching. He put his hand on the ball there and that really could have changed things. All right, that could have been a huge play if the ball comes out there and all of a sudden, instead of forcing a punt in, in, a, in a down or two, they're giving the offense the ball in, in good position there in position to score. All right, that could have been the difference, you know, and, and he's a guy out there trying to make that difference. They didn't quite make that play. You know, that's one of those, one of those little plays, one of those little things that, and if that just went a little bit differently, it could have changed the things, it could have made a difference. All right, so the Bengals just barely holding on, 27-21, and here we have more problems with man, right? Now we got Wilson, we got the rookie. I think he's pretty good at covering tight ends. He is pretty good at covering tight ends, but look, 
Things are getting crossed up. Another thing that happens when you play man. You play man, they do a bunch look, which is really what this is. The running back is the third guy in the bunch. You guys get crossed up, it puts you a step behind. He's not in terrible position here. He's got to play inside. Obviously, he's like a step behind, but right. Because that cross, they really got him screwed up on that. All right, get a little bit. You know, pocket's starting to collapse a little bit, but again, not getting enough pressure. Just not getting enough pressure. Philip Phil Rivers, too comfortable. Throws that ball. It's a tough play for Wilson, all right? That's a tough play. Okay, his defense has limitations. They're really thin up front. They are going to be in tough positions from time to time. And look, if you got a defense that you know is going to give up points, you got to also give your offense more opportunities. All right, and that's what that's what Jesse Bates does here. Great read in the quarterback. Quarterback stares it down. Right, Colts are up by one here. Not quite in field goal range. They complete this. They're in field goal range. They're in position to take the lead. Bates reads it, makes the play. Right, and gives the offense a chance. Right, gives the offense a chance. Another opportunity for the offense to go out and put something together. So the offense drove down the field, had an opportunity for a field goal to take the lead, and they didn't make it, all right? They donked it. This is the first play. Look, great field position for the Colts because of the missed field goal. All right, but then first play out, what do we have? We got an opportunity here for the Colts to go deep. We got an open receiver streaking down the field because we're a man coverage and we just got torched, right? Man, Bengals got lucky there. That could have been a touchdown right away in this drive. I think you see a little bit of pressure, right? That affects the throw. A little bit of pressure. Covington getting Rivers off his spot. There's that, uh, that trademark three-quarter sidearm. And he can't connect. The danger, right? All right, so that's it. So we, so we see, look, pressure's huge, right? Pressure's huge. They, they, they got to get pressure. They didn't lose this game because they were playing too much zone, which you, you hear people saying. It has nothing to do with that. They've just got to execute. Everybody's got to execute. They've got to stay on top of things. And, like, really, the offense has to score some points in the second half, too. We know this defense is, is going to have some limitations with all the injuries they have out, had, with all the problems they have up front. They don't have the depth they need. All right, injuries aside, they don't have the depth they need on that defensive line. And they don't have the pass rush. All right, so we know they're going to have trouble on defense. What do you have to do? You have to create turnovers, create opportunities for the offense to be able to score points like Bates did, not give up good plays, tighten up in the red zone, get some wins in the red zone, and then create more opportunities for the offense. That's how you, that's how you win games when you know you're going to have some struggles defensively. All right, so uh, tough watching this film. Uh, you know, definitely some aggravating things going on here. I'm going to go grab a Gansett and try and cool down a little bit. Uh, but make sure you are uh, staying tuned to Cincy Jungle. There will be brighter days. There will be more fun film sessions. So make sure you keep on coming back. We keep breaking down all the action throughout the Bengals season. Hot Rock!